Geography at John Moores is all about analysing the integration between the physical landscape and the human landscape and bringing those together and how it integrates, how does the natural landscape form. So we look at everything really from paleo environments, looking at reconstructing past environments and working that through and looking at how people interact with that landscape. Today is part of one of our final year level six modules, GIS and natural hazards. And we are bringing the students out to a location in Derbyshire, Mam Tor, which is a well-known um, landslide complex that has been developing over several thousand years. And the aim for us with our students is to develop their skill base in terms of how they would approach studying this type of hazard, how they would um, monitor any change and how they would manage going forward. I find it difficult to sit in a classroom and look at a PowerPoint or read a book and try and digest the information but actually getting out of the classroom, uh, John Moores is really good at that and brings us into the environment that we're trying to learn about and I think that's the best way to learn, especially for me and yeah. probably others. Uh, as you go through the three years you'll go on a, n a number of uh, interesting field trips varying from Snowdon over to <coughs> Crete and even Spain. So it's a uh, once about two or three each term is the average amount. I've never seen a degree that has so many field trips on it. You, you get to go here, there and everywhere. Um, it, sometimes it's uh, nice and calm like this, sometimes it's, it's, it's a bit rainy but you know, you, <laughs> you power on. Yeah. And uh, other, t other days it's, it's gloriously sunny and it's a, it's a great day out. So the students are exposed to a variety of natural environments, you know, a UK, Northern European, classical type environment and look at the processes, the land forms and the interaction of people in their environment in the UK. Then we go to South East Spain to a semi-arid environment and then the final year we take them to Crete and Santorini to look at environments that are very tectonically active and also volcanically active. Yeah, I mean in the first year we have one major uh, residential field trip at Castlehead in the Lake District. Before then everyone's kind of in their own little cliquey groups but that kind of gets everyone together. Everyone goes down to the pub at the end of the day and socialises so it's a win-win situation yeah. to be honest. We're a really close group of people. Everyone knows everyone in the group and the freak leaders from Zion South with the lectures and stuff. So everyone's pretty close and I think that's partly to do with all the field trips we go on. Every module has at least one day's field work as well. So the students are regularly spending a full day together in the field outside of a classroom and that allows them to build up relationships and identity only for themselves and building friendships but they they really build up program identity the cohort begin to get a strong bond they're not just in the classroom they're out in you know what are sometimes quite harsh environments and it really it really aids their professional development because they're working together in teams, they're problem solving, but it also builds social bonds um, and takes them forward from there. And in geography, building on that, we now have a student-led geography society that the students run, the students manage, um, it's recognised with the students' union, and it's very much about getting the geography students together to socialise, to build networks, not just within the year group, but across the years. And the students have been really successful in that. And they often culminate the academic year with an end of year ball. And last year there was over 150 of us attend. So it really builds this, um, the programme identity, but it also builds staff student identity. And it allows a relationship that is professional to build up but it breaks down the barriers in terms of students seeing us as someone terrifying who they can't come and talk to. They see us as someone who's more approachable and it, it really allows them to engage a lot more in their learning if they think we're approachable and someone they can come and speak to. They're always there for you. They've got um, their numbers, they've got the emails and they normally reply within the day and they're always there if you've got questions. Even if you think they're silly, they're always going on so somewhere you can go that'll help you. Even if they're not like subject specific lecturers, they'll always try and give you a helping hand or point you in the right direction if the one that you want to speak to is not available, so it's second to none I reckon. Well I think it's an absolute belting opportunity to come, especially because we've got so much field work. Um, it's, that's the great opportunity to get the skills you learn in the lectures, put them into practice, but they're the employable skills. If you can tell an employer that yeah. you've been and actually done it, been to the field, done the data collection, done the results, done the reports, it looks much better for you. It sets you up much better, I think, in the long term. 
You know, last year we are trying to fill out CVs and stuff for jobs. It's great because we can actually write down the knowledge that we've learnt from going out in the field. But some universities you might not. You can still have learnt about it, but I've not actually done it.